Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Story Saturday. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am very proud to announce that this is actually going to be coming out on time, believe it or not. I did actually start basketball season, so in the lieu of basketball season, guys, I am going to be releasing a small compilation of a bunch of funny basketball stories that have happened to me over my lifetime. Now, guys, I am very tall. I am six... Okay, I wouldn't say very tall. I'm 6'3". But for my age, as a junior, as a 17-year-old, I am 6'3", and that's it's pretty tall compared to most. And so I've always really enjoyed the sport of basketball. Now, basketball has been a big part of my life. I've been playing it for about eight-ish years, and have competitively been playing it for about five years. So yes, I am a competitive basketball player, and because basketball season started yesterday, actually, I am going to be telling you guys a bunch of stories that have happened in all my seasons since I've been... Well, very small. So, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get right into these stories, and I hope you guys enjoy. So the very first story, actually all three of these stories I'm going to be telling you guys are actually when I ha was in eighth grade. But So the first one was I was in eighth grade, and my coach and a certain referee that was refing my game did not get along. So we were just playing. All of the players were playing. Everything was going okay. But the thing is, my coach and this one certain referee just did not get along well. They've had a long history together of kind of, I don't I don't even know their history, but all I know is that my coach said that they really didn't get along very well. So the ref was actually quite biased against us, and whenever we did anything even slightly wrong, he would just basically tear us apart. So during the game, I accidentally threw the basketball out of bounds. Yes, it was a scrubby play, and the opposite team, you know, took it out, because basically what happens is the last person that touches the ball, the opposite team from the person that touched it last will be able to throw in the ball for the inbounds. So when the ball goes out of bounds, the other team will get to have possession of the ball and will then be able to go out of bounds and throw it back into play. So I, my job was to guard the person that was throwing it back into play. And normally you're supposed to be about an arm's length away from them from the person that's throwing it in, but I was actually pretty close. I would probably, I was... <sighs> I would say it was probably like three-fourths of an arm length away, so I was pretty far off, but apparently the ref wasn't cutting it. And normally, the ref will warn you, and if you keep doing it, then he'll give you this thing called a technical. But since he hated my coach, he actually gave me a technical right on the spot. He didn't give me a warning, didn't tell me to stop or anything. He just gave me a technical right on the spot. Now, two technicals means you get kicked out of the game. So I kind of had to go and sit down for a while just so I didn't do it again. And then after that happened, my coach and I, or my coach and the ref kind of just <laughs> got at each other. Um, so yeah, guys, that was the first story. I found it pretty amusing. Now, the second story I find it pretty amusing too. It's the same coach, the same coach um, in eighth grade. And basically what we did was we drove, because we take vans, we take team vans, and we drive all over the place. Um, so if it's a really far away game, we'll take these vans. So we uh, we went and played a pretty far away town, and I was on the eighth grade team, so it was more of an elite team known as the A team. So there was a B team and an A team. The seventh graders would mostly be on the B team, and the eighth graders and good seventh graders would be on the A team. And so it was you know reserved for eighth graders and so and um, I was on that because I was in eighth grade. I was actually on the A team. So we went up and we faced the other team's A team. Now, this other team's A-team was really quite good, and so we went up and kind of faced these guys, and, well, needless to say, we kind of got wrecked. Now, my coach, before this had happened, he's like, okay, if you guys do well, I will buy you guys all pizza on the way home. So, yep, we got completely wrecked, and I specifically and easily remember him saying, well, we're going home, and he just was not very happy with us. And then his wife came in to save the day. She came up, and she's like, oh, hey, hey, guys, uh, so I already ordered pizza, so even though you guys lost pretty badly, we're still going out for pizza. And my coach just kind of like, he's like, oh... I was trying to punish them for a reason. So yeah, guys, we all went out for pizza after a loss, but you know what? It was a good time, and I really did enjoy it, because, you know, free pizza, am I right? Now, guys, this is the last story. This was just kind of a jerk move on one of my friend's parts. Um, it's it's a bit of a shorter story. Um, so yes, this did occur when I was in eighth grade, and we were on our team van. We were driving away to a pretty far town. So it was a pretty far away town, and lots of the towns out in the rural country of Colorado, and they were, you know, pretty far away. So I was in this van, and I was just wearing my Beats headphones. You know, I was just listening to music and just kind of chilling. And I was 
basically completely zoned out to my teammates, to the to my coach who was driving, to the outside, everything. I was just completely zoned in on my music, and I was like not listening to anything else, not even like conscious of anything else that was happening around me. And you know, so I was like drifting in and out of sleep, and finally I'm about to fall asleep, and I'm like just listening to my music, and all of a sudden I feel a super sharp pain on the side of my face, and my friend just slaps the crap out of me. Like, I was just chilling there, mind my own business, and he just comes and completely slaps my face super hard. But it wasn't a normal slap. What he did, he licked his hand. Yes, he licked his hand, completely wetted it. It was like completely slobbery. And he just slapped the crap out of me. And I'm just like, what the actual crap did you just do? And so, like, needless to say, I was really salty. And this is, <laughs> I had a red handprint on my face with slobber all over my face. And because he slapped me for no reason. It was legit for no reason. I was honestly doing nothing. I was minding my own business, just, you know, listing my music. And he just slaps me so hard. So when we got to this school, I was just like, you know, all salty. And I, like, wind washed my face for, like, two minutes when we got to the locker room. <laughs> But yeah, that was very interesting. So yeah, guys, these are three stories, really funny stories from my uh, basketball career. I have been playing for so long. I have a ton of really fun new stories. So if you guys really did enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, guys. So guys, if we surpass 30 likes and um, you guys just comment you want to see more, then I will definitely do a part two of this. Same with my childhood stories. Um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But for now, guys, thank you so much for tuning in for another Story Saturday. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you in a brand new video. Bye, guys.